Now we will see how to integrate a definite integral by substitution. And I'm going to call this example 1a. And example 1b will be the same problem uh, demonstrated a slightly different way. But here's the example. We're going to evaluate the integral from 1 to 5 of 2x minus 5 to the power of 3 dx. Now, note that this dx here implies that this has to be a function of x. And the limits here, the 1 and the 5, are x equals 1 and x equals 5. In fact, this is sometimes, people sometimes write it like this, the integral, and they write x equals 1 and x equals 5. And that becomes useful here. Writing the little x equals there becomes useful because when we start sticking a u in there, a different variable, it helps to be clear which variable is which right there. But just note that we, if you have a dx right here, then your limits are going to be in terms of x. So here's the, here's the integration. I'm going to let u equal 2x minus 5. Okay, so let's take the derivative of u du dx will simply be 2 and then let's solve that for dx algebraically dx is going to be 1 half du now let's rewrite our integral here this is the integral from x equals 1 to x equals 5 the integral is now in terms of u this is u right here. Remember u is 2x minus 5, so in my original integral here I have u cubed, and my dx right here is 1 half du, so I have u cubed times 1 half du. And let's rearrange that a little bit, let's just put the 1 half out front, and that's a step you could probably do in your head, and that's fine. 1 half times the integral from x equals 1 to x equals 5 of u cubed du. And that's not too hard to integrate. I'll scroll down here, have a little bit more room. This is going to equal 1 half times u to the fourth over 4. And that's evaluated from 1 to 5. But let's write x equals 1 to x equals 5. And that's important to note that the limits here 1 and 5 are in terms of x, not in terms of u, because our function is still in terms of u. We can't plug in x equals 5 and x equals 1 here, because that's not an x. So we have to substitute back in for u right there. And remember up at the top, u was 2x minus 5, so our integral is now 1 half times 2x minus 5 to the fourth over 4. All I did was substitute back in for u right there, the 2x minus 5. And this is evaluated from x equals 1 to x equals 5. And then we can just plug in the numbers and evaluate. So let's do that. This is going to be 1 half times okay, 2x minus 5. If x is 5, then that's going to be 10 minus 5 to the fourth over 4 minus, and now we put the 1 in there. Uh, if x is 1 right here, then I have 2 minus 5, which is negative 3 to the 4th over 4. And I've just uh, factored out the 1 half basically out front. So we evaluate this. This is going to be 1 half and that, that works out to um, 5 to the 4th over 4, which comes out to 156.25. And negative 3 to the 4th over 4 comes out to 20.25. And that works out to a final answer of 68. That's our answer. Okay, next I'll work the same problem a slightly different way. And you'll see that we get the same answer of 68. Okay, here's the integral again. The integral from 1 to 5 of 2x minus 5 cubed dx. And here's the substitution. u equals 2x minus 5. Now we're going to start off the same way. We take the derivative of u, 
and that's just 2, and we'll solve that for dx. So just rearrange algebraically, and dx equals 1 half du. So now let's rewrite the integral, the original integral here, in terms of u. So I have the integral from 1 to 5 of u cubed times 1 half du. Now so far this is the same as we had before. And um, let's uh, just put the 1 half out front. So we have 1 half times the integral from 1 to 5 of u cubed du. And that's pretty easy to do. 1 half u to the fourth over 4 evaluated from x equals 1 to x equals 5. Remember, we started out with a dx here, implying that these limits of integration, the 1 and the 5, are values of x. Now here's where it gets just a little bit different. Instead of plugging in u right there like we did before, we can say this. We can say u equals 2x minus 5. We know that. So when x equals 1, I'm just going to put a 1 in right there for x. When x equals 1, what is u? Well, 2 times 1 minus 5 is negative 3. And when x equals 5, right there, I just put in a 5. 2 times 5 is 10, minus 5 is 5. So when x is 5, u equals 5. So instead of integrating from x equals 1 to x equals 5, that will be the same as integrating from u equals negative 3 to u equals 5. So I'll put in those values. So I'm going to have 1 half. Well, let's go ahead and combine the 1 half and the, the 4 in the denominator. That gives me a 1 eighth. And then I have u to the 4th evaluated. So instead of x equals 1, I'm going to use this fact evaluated from negative 3 up to x equals 5, I use that fact. So this is u to the fourth evaluated from u equals negative 3 to u equals 5. And that's not too hard to do, just put in the numbers. 1 eighth, and then I have 5 to the fourth minus negative 3 to the fourth. And that's 1 eighth of 5 to the 4th, which is 625, minus 3 to the 4th, which is 81, and 625 minus 81 is 544, and 1 eighth of that is 68. So we do, in fact, get the same answer. And the only difference in this method and the, the previous method was, was right here. Instead of substituting an expression for u in right there, we substituted a new expression in for these values here to get our limits in terms of u instead of getting our function in terms of x. So the first way we did it, we had everything consistent in terms of x. In this case, we made everything consistent in terms of u. And either way is okay, and both methods, of course, lead to the same answer.